Okay, so let's get you just say like introing to like this day. What do you okay, do you want me to talk with my hands? Yes. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Gabby Pinkerton and we are behind the scenes on my branding shoot. In case you haven't seen it, I just launched a new website, gabbypinkerton.com, and I needed some new photos. So I'm here with Mallory Holcomb of Holcomb & Co. And she does everything from weddings to branding shoots to like some actually like really big singers in Nashville now. So I am excited for you guys to see a little bit behind the scenes. And as I'm talking, she's actually shooting some stuff. So I'm just supposed to be talking. So here we are, you're getting the real behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you like that intro. We were actually not really thinking of filming the intro to this video that way, but it turned out to be pretty cool because she got some photos of me truly in action. And I think that's the hardest part about doing branding shoots is acting natural. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what uh, she had me do some poses and stuff. And I'm going to like, look how awkward I am. I am super awkward. Um, but I'll show you the results of some of these photos with each segment. So you can see the magic that she's able to work with her camera. So definitely follow Mallory. I'm going to link her Instagram here. She's a rock star. She travels all over, I believe, but she is now based in um, Nashville and she comes from California as well. So it was kind of fun. We connected virtually before even meeting in person. Um, and it's just fun to know another Californian that moved out of the state. Another thing you'll notice that we do in branding shoots is the photographers always say, you know, to do the fake laugh. And you'll see that, you'll start noticing that in people's photos where there's just like a giggle and here I am kind of like, ha ha ha. It's hard, you guys. Like I'm laughing about nothing. But then once you start laughing, you kind of really laugh because it's hysterical that we're just fake laughing. So anyway, you'll see a lot of my photos that have a, a hopefully genuine laugh. Um, but it's Mallory telling me to giggle, fake giggle for the photos. Real behind the scenes. <laughs> In case you're curious, I got this dress at Target. I am by no means a fashionista, but I actually thought this was cute for my new brand colors. So this shoot is for my website, GabbyPinkerton.com, where I am posting and sharing tips and tricks about Pinterest and marketing for wedding professionals. So I needed something that had like kind of dark red tones, orangey tones, um, some browns and then uh, some yellows, which you'll see in a uh, flat lay we do in a little bit where I am bringing that yellow into it. So here I wanted Mallory to do a couple flat lays. Um, which is basically like overhead shots of my workspace and a book and a pen and a laptop. And those things I find are super helpful for more generic like Instagram posts or blog posts where I don't necessarily need to have my face in it. Um, another thing that I can do too is add uh, text to like after post edit, I can add text in that notebook on Canva. So I thought that was kind of a good idea. Now 
Now, when you're looking for a branding photographer, make sure it is somebody who has experience with branding photos. Um, it's not just about having a person who's good behind the camera because I think it's a very different type of talent than somebody who shoots weddings. Now, Mallory does do both, but she has a lot of experience with branding. So I appreciate her guidance to demonstrate the poses before I do them and minor little tweaks with my body parts and just even my toes or my hair and my smile. So I really, really appreciate her knowledge and guidance with this. All right, second location for our shoot. We are at L and L Market, and we're gonna what use this exterior wall? Yeah, here we go. I did an outfit change. I only actually did a total of three outfit changes and one of them was just that shirt. So I went from a dress to a different uh, top to this last top. So I kept it pretty simple and neutral, obviously, but because that's my brand. Um, but the cool thing is Mallory already had a second location in mind. So that's part of the research that your photographer should do too, is getting to know your brand and what the locations and the backdrops should look like. So this is kind of our last one. Obviously we're not getting the auto zone in the background. We're focusing on this like really cool brick stone and like rust color um, backdrop to the building. And then we eventually do go inside for a couple more shots. It's all part of the scouting process. Aww. It's kind of like the Chelsea Market in a way in New York. Have you ever been there? Oh yeah. I mean, Chelsea Market's huge. Yeah, and just like individual vendors. Oh, a little flower shop. Have you seen her? No. She has this um, old truck that she drives certain places. You like, oh, I've grab her. Look at that. Yeah. Amelia's flowers, how cute. film it but we did end up shooting in that far bright corner right over here by the windows and I will show you some of those photos. And that's a wrap. So I just got three outfits in which is perfect. We did like an hour and a half of photos, two locations, and it's all I need for my new website and also for just like social media posts, oh, social media posts and uh, just content like blog photos and stuff like that because sometimes I don't have photos of everything that I'm talking about so it's nice to just at least have some general branded photos. So that's it.